during the Pleistocene. The dire wolf, also known as Canis dirus, inhabited different areas around North and South America. Although the average dire wolf was similar in size to the larger specimens of present day's gray wolf, its vicious bite was the strongest of any Canis species to date. Their teeth were also larger and featured a greater shearing ability. It is also believed that they used their bite to crush the bones of their prey and eat the marrow in order to extract the maximum nutritional capacity out of each kill. Based on the numerous specimens recovered from the La Brea tar pits in Los Angeles, it is believed that dire wolves hunted in packs. Their main prey consisted of horses, mastodons, sloths, bison, and other mega herbivores. Scientists have determined that the dire wolf would frequently go after larger prey. This was mainly attributed to the fact that it had shorter legs than the gray wolf, which meant that their main hunting approach was to ambush heavier, slower-moving animals. Dire wolves were hypercarnivorous, which meant that at least 70% of their diet consisted of meat. It is widely considered that the Smilodon, also known as the saber-toothed cat, and the dire wolf competed for the same prey, as their fossils were found intermingled in the La Brea tar pits. The last recovered dire wolf specimens were dated back to 9,440 years ago, around the end of the last ice age. It might be possible to de-extinct the dire wolf by combining their recovered DNA with the genome of modern dog. On is one of the best known species of what is commonly known as the saber-toothed cat. Smilodons inhabited regions in the Americas during the Pleistocene era, around 1.6 million to 10,000 years ago. Thousands of Smilodon fossil specimens were discovered in the La Brea tar pits in Los Angeles, U.S. Their most distinctive features were their canines, which could grow as long as 12 inches for the Smilodon populator, the largest of the Smilodon species. Their height was estimated at around 39 inches, with weights ranging from 490 to 880 pounds. Although it is typically referred to as the saber-toothed tiger, the Smilodon was only a distant relative of modern-day felines. Their build was also different. Their long canines were quite fragile, and if they were broken, they did not grow back. Even though they could open their mouths at almost 120 degrees, they would often avoid biting down on their prey too hard in order to protect their long sabers. However, Smilodons were more robust and more muscular than the current species of big cats. They had short and muscular legs, thick necks, and broad chests. These physical features made Smilodons exceptional ambush predators. Paleontologists believe that Smilodons would often pounce on their prey from tree branches. As its attack unfolded, the Smilodon plunged its canines into the neck of its victim and then retreated to a safe distance as its prey bled to death. It is also believed that much like other species of big cats, Smilodons formed packs and hunted in groups. Even though they shared their habitat with early humans, it is highly unlikely that Smilodons were hunted to extinction. Experts believe that the contributing factor was a combination of the gradual disappearance of their prey and climate change. The forest Rosidea, also known as the terror birds, were a type of large carnivorous flightless bird. It was the apex predator in the South American region during the Cenozoic era. Terror birds ranged in height with the largest specimen standing almost 10 feet tall. They had large heads and powerful beaks, but also great flexibility in their long necks. This enabled them to deliver devastating strikes on their prey. They would often use their height as a means of intimidation. Before delivering a downward attack, the bird would stretch to its full length. The momentum produced by its heavy head and its developed neck muscles would usually produce fatal wounds on its prey. An almost intact skull discovered in Patagonia in 2006 measured 28 inches in length, making it the largest bird skull ever discovered. In addition to its massive head and strong curved beak, the terror bird also possessed sharp talons which it would use to tear into or hold down its prey. These avian predators were also quite fast, capable of reaching speeds of 30 miles per hour. Environmental changes are thought to be among the main causes for its extinction. Similar to the T-Rex, the Spinosaurus was also a theropod dinosaur, meaning that it was a massive land carnivore. It lived during the Cretaceous period, approximately 112 to 97 million years ago, mainly in the swamps of North Africa. Its scientific name, which translates to spine lizard, reflects the dinosaur's most distinctive feature. The Spinosaurus had tall neural spines growing on its back vertebrae, which were connected to each other by skin to form what scientists have referred to as the cell. The cell's function is still unclear. 
With its tail fully extended, the Spinosaurus would seem almost double in size, thus it might have been used as an intimidation tactic. Other interpretations claim that it was used as a means of regulating body temperature and as a way of communicating information about the dinosaur's size, gender, and age to other animals or another Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus is widely regarded as the largest carnivorous dinosaur in history, its size exceeding that of the T-Rex or Gigantosaurus. John H. Horner, a paleontologist who had worked as a consultant for the Jurassic Park 3 movie, stated at one point, if we base the ferocious factor on the length of the animal, there was nothing that ever lived on this planet that could match this creature. From head to tail, this massive beast was around 50 feet long and weighed from 12 to 20 metric tons. A 2014 study published by the Science Journal stated that the Spinosaurus was among the very few dinosaurs that were able to swim. Spinosaurus had short hind limbs, like early whales and other animals that spent more and more time in the water. Dense and compact bones, penguins show a similar bone profile in cross-section, wide and flat claws and feet, possibly used in paddling, and a long and slender snout with conical teeth, perfect for catching fish. The Titanoboa is the largest genus of snake ever discovered, with an estimated weight of 2,500 pounds and a length of almost 50 feet. Upon its discovery, it was believed that the Titanoboa was an apex predator of the Paleogene epoch, inhabiting Earth's tropical regions approximately 50 to 60 million years ago. However, later analysis indicated that the snake was mainly Pisivorous, meaning that its diet consisted mostly of fish. When it would take on larger prey, the serpent would use its massive body to constrict its prey before swallowing it whole, much like the different species of boa snakes that still exist today. Fossils from 28 individuals were found in the Colombian Cerrejón coal mines in 2009. Following the discovery, the Titanoboa received the scientific name Titanoboa cerrejonensis. Because of the snake's massive size, several scientists have questioned how the Titanoboa would fare against the Tyrannosaurus rex, which is widely considered to be the largest and most fearsome predator in history. However, the two could have never interacted in the wild, as they lived approximately 10 million years apart. Number 2. The Tyrannosaurus Rex The name Rex comes from Latin and translates as king. Considering the fact that the Tyrannosaurus Rex is one of the largest predators that have ever lived, the name does it justice. The T-Rex was one of the few non-avian dinosaurs that were still roaming the Earth prior to the Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction Event, KPG. The leading theory behind the KPG event is that a large asteroid brought about the mass extinction of approximately three quarters of all plant and animal life on Earth. The largest complete T-Rex specimen is located at the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago and measures 40 feet in length and stands at 12 feet tall. Based on the bone structure, it is estimated that the specimen weighed approximately 10.2 metric tons. Aside from its imposing frame, the T-Rex had one of the most massive and ferocious heads in carnivore history. Its jaws were capable of delivering a bite force that exceeded 10 metric tons. It is still considered that the T-Rex's bone-crushing bite is the strongest of any land animal that has ever lived. Each set of its serrated teeth served a different function. The front teeth were used for gripping and pulling, the side ones tore into the flesh, while the back ones diced the meat of its prey. The T-Rex's forelimbs each featured two claws, and even though they could reportedly grow to be three feet long, they were small in size compared to the dinosaur's massive thighs and legs. The function of the T-Rex's arms is still unknown. Its large tail would enable the dinosaur to balance the size of its head and allow it to move quickly. Its muscle distribution suggests that the animal could reach speeds of 10 to 25 miles per hour. It was most likely the apex predator of its time, although many scientists believe that the T-Rex was more scavenger than hunter. The consensus is that it behaved like an apex predator, but its highly developed sense of smell would have made surviving on carcasses much easier. Paleontologist David Burnham commented on the subject, stating, T-Rex was probably opportunistic and may have fed on carcasses, but that is not a very abundant or consistent food source. T-Rex had a hard life. They had to go out and kill for food when they were hungry. The T-Rex is without a doubt among the most dangerous land carnivores in history. The Megalodon was one of the most dangerous predators in the sea during the Pliocene and Miocene epochs, around 23 to 2.6 million years ago. Based on the size of the discovered teeth and vertebrae, it was determined that the Megalodon's physical appearance resembled that of today's great white shark. However, the Megalodon was much larger. 
Based on the fossil evidence and body mass analysis, which was done in comparison with that of the Great White, it was estimated that the length of the Megalodon ranged from 55 to 60 meters in length, with a weight between 50 and 75 tons. Scientists have not excluded the possibility of certain specimens exceeding these parameters. A 2008 computer simulation determined that the 10.8 to 18.2 ton bite force that this shark could produce was stronger than that of any other animal ever discovered. Its bite was so powerful that it could break the shells of giant turtles and the sulks of whales on which it would often prey. Its name, derived from ancient Greek and roughly translated as big tooth, is more than suitable as the megalodon's teeth exceeded 7 inches in length. Many of the whale bones which have been discovered show large bite marks which match the description of the megalodon's teeth. Its hunting style differed from that of the great white. The placement of the megalodon's teeth made biting through cartilage very easy. It is believed that while on the hunt, the shark would first bite off the fins of its prey, impairing its ability to swim away before going in for the kill. Despite its massive size, the shark was also an agile swimmer capable of reaching great speeds. A computer simulation determined that a 53-ton megalodon could swim at a top speed of 16.5 feet per second. Many experts agree that the megalodon was arguably the most formidable carnivore ever to have existed. Although the exact reason is still unknown, there are certain theories concerning the extinction of this apex predator. One of them claims that the gradual disappearance of giant whales, the megalodon's main diet, had led to its extinction. Some experts believe that the global cooling brought about by the last ice age might have been the main contributing factor. Although they are not supported by concrete evidence, there are some theories which suggest that the megalodon has never gone extinct.